again. I'm here to make Pad See You, and I just made the video for the noodles. They are right here. Rice noodles, all done. Set that aside. And now, let me talk to you about, about the ingredients for this dish. This dish is cooked quickly at a high heat. You want to get a little charring of the ingredients. It adds a smoky flavor, but you have to be careful. You know, you could burn the, this dish real easily. So watch me, watch this whole thing before you try it. So first, let me show you what's in it. Um, there's the noodles, of course. There's tofu, firm tofu. We're gonna fry that. Um, so if you, if you wanna make this the easiest possible, then when you go to the Asian market, go ahead and pick up some fresh made rice noodles. You can get those. Um, don't buy it, you know, days before you're going to make this. It, they should be fresh. Uh, even the second day, they're not as good. So um, you get your fresh noodles, take them home. When you're gonna start your uh, preparation, first thing you're gonna do is um, take them apart. Sometimes you'll have to cut them. Sometimes they'll come in sheets and, and you'll have to cut them. Cut them about three quarters of an inch wide. And then you need to take them all apart and put them in a big bowl, just like I've done here. And then just set that aside. Another thing you can do to make it easier is if you have some fresh fried tofu, uh, sometimes you can get those at an Asian market and if you do that, you don't have to fry your tofu. I'm gonna have to fry mine, obviously. Okay, in addition, you're gonna need broccoli, and I, I don't, I'm not sure in Thailand, I've never been to Thailand. Um, they probably use something we call Chinese broccoli that I think is similar to, um, what's that one? Uh, oh, broccoli rob, yeah, but I'm not sure if it's the same thing, so I, I like to just use plain broccoli. We don't need this much, but you need about nine or 10 ounces. Um, okay, and then here's what you need also from the, well, you could get rice vinegar at Trader Joe's. That's where this came from. Or you can get it from an Asian market. It might be cheaper. You need some kind of, well, you need either peanut oil, which I'm gonna use, or you could use grapeseed oil but um, it should be one of those. You need some vegetarian mushroom oyster sauce. Otherwise, it's not gonna be vegetarian, but you can get oyster sauce. Anyway, that's vegetarian. You need a thick soy sauce, and I'm using this. It's the stuff that I use when I make Taiwanese pancakes. It's, it says black bean soy paste. So you can see it's, it's pretty thick. So I use that for my thick soy sauce. Uh, you need some sesame oil. You need some light, uh, light soy sauce, which, you know, my Sempio always works. It is a light one. I use it for, I use it for everything because I just love it. And you need some garlic and black pepper. And I think that's all. If not, I'll tell you later. This is a dish you you really need to do in a wok. Um, I just wouldn't even try it with anything else. And you need a wok that does not have Teflon in it because you're gonna be cooking in a high heat and uh, better to have just a steel wok. I hope you have one. If you don't have one, well, there's Christmas. All right, so let's get our ingredients prepared first. First thing I'm gonna do is cut up this tofu and fry it. So before I start cutting, gotta make some room. I'm gonna start heating up the oil over here in the wok. I've already put some oil in the wok. So heat it up. Oh, and you need an egg. I forgot the egg. So it's not vegan. I guess if you wanted it to be vegan, you could leave out the egg. But we're vegetarians, so whatever. We'll, we'll eat the eggs. All right. 
Tofu. Oh yeah. You need to be watching my hands. Here we go. This is 14 ounces of tofu. And I'm going to cut it in about probably three quarter inch cubes. Pour out that water. And I'm going to dry it because if I don't, then when I put it in the hot oil, it's going to just pop out and I might get burned. So you can use paper towels if you want. I rarely use paper towels because I don't like to throw them away, but whatever. No judging. Alrighty. So I'm gonna cut it like this first. Cut it in cubes. Pretty wet. Okay. And let's go put it in the oil. Whoa, that's hot. So I have my broccoli florets and my broccoli stems. And I forgot to show you about peeling the um, skins of the broccoli off of the thick stem. Um, hopefully this one's not very fibrous, but I normally do that. Anyway, that's that. And I need a couple of cloves of garlic chopped. So I'm going to chop these. And then I'll be ready to go. This is two halves, so it's still two. All right. Okay, are you ready to go? Hope I am. The tofu has cooled at least enough so I can handle it. It's still warm, but that's good enough. Now we need a bowl, a large bowl. I'm gonna put Half a tablespoon of soy sauce in the large bowl. And this doesn't have to be exact, so I'm just gonna guess. Actually, now that I think about it, I cooked a little more um, tofu than I had to. So if I go a little over, that's fine. So that was a half tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of oyster sauce, and a splash of sesame oil. Just a, you know, just a little. There, that's a splash. All right, stir that up. And then I'm gonna put the tofu in there and stir it up and set it aside. Just want to coat the tofu. Okay. This is the pan that fried the tofu. If you fried your tofu like I did, you'll want to wipe it out, get the bits of tofu and the excess oil, because we're not going to use that kind of oil. We're going to use peanut oil. All right. Now, let me describe what I'm going to do, because this is going to go down fast. I'm going to heat up the, the uh, wok with a little bit of 
oil, just a splash of peanut oil. And then I'm going to, when it's hot and smoky, it gets really hot, I'm gonna put the broccoli um, stems in first because they took, take longer than the um, florets. I'm gonna cook that for a couple of minutes. Then I'm gonna put the florets in, cook that until it's nice and, you know, bright green and wonderful looking. And then I'm gonna transfer that over to a bowl. Heat the wok on high. Okay, I'm gonna put in a little bit of oil. You don't want your dish to be, you know, greasy. So you don't wanna use a whole lot of oil. And we're not gonna use the lid. I feel like you need to see this better. Hope that's better. Okay. I'm gonna also have my um, soy sauce handy because I need to splash it in at just the right moment. Okay, now I'm seeing it starting to smoke a little bit, so I'm gonna do this quickly. There we go. You can see that the stems are brighter green than the florets. It won't take long. So watch for the color. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. A little splash of soy sauce. be 100% cooked. It's going to cook a little bit more, but you want it close. So I'm going to, I'm going to take that up now. Put it in this bowl. Exciting. All right, set that aside. And there's some soy sauce in there. I'm just going to leave it. So I'm going to, this time, when it smokes a bit, which it's doing, put a little bit of oil, just a little bit. And I'm going to get my noodles now. And I'm going to put that in. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have to hold the handle now. All right, so here, right away, I want to put in the thick soy sauce. Here. And I need. A tablespoon of this. Let's use this. Thick soy sauce. Ah. All 
right. I'm going to just put a little bit of, maybe a little bit more of the soy sauce. So you want to kind of spread it around. Here's where you want your little charred bits. So spread it around. Scrape that bottom. Get those charred bits. Don't cook it too long. You do want to get some smoky flavoring in there. If it's, um, if you need a little bit more oil, which I don't, you can put a, just a little dab, not much though. So. I think that's, that's about done. Okay, so. I'm going to remove those to this plate. And I did turn the heat off. I do understand why they came out with Teflon coated wax. But if you scrape a Teflon pan like this, you're gonna ruin it. So I'm going to return the wok to the heat and I'm going to put a little dab of oil again, a little bit. And I'm going to put in my chopped garlic. Stir that up a little bit. And then I'm going to put in my tofu. If you have any sauce on the bottom, leave it in the bowl. I don't have much. All right. Stir that up a little bit. Broccoli back in the pan. There we go. Finally, I'm 
We're going to add the noodles back. Mix all that together. Yeah, that looks good. Now, now we're going to, if there's any sauce left from your, um, you know, your tofu, I'm going to put that in. I guess I got a little bit. Put that in. And we're going to put in some rice vinegar. Rice vinegar. Just a tablespoon. And some black pepper. And I'm going to throw in a little bit of sugar because that's what they do in Thailand. I have turbinado sugar handy, so that's what I'm going to use, but you could use any kind or not. You don't have to put sugar in it. It is authentic. And that's it. Let's stir that up. I promise you, you're going to love it. There you go.